Welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to sharing strategies and tools to help you make your dream life possible. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women grow their businesses and get what they want without feeling guilty, overwhelmed, or confused. If you're tired of your ideas spinning around your mind and you really want something more for yourself, you're in the right place. Learn how to create the space to make your ideas a reality. I promise if I can do this, anyone can. Let's go. Hi, my friend. Welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy. And every week I try to make this podcast a a place where we can make little shifts that create big results so that we can create businesses and lives that feel good. But right now, it might be hard to feel good because there's so much incredibly challenging stuff happening in our world. And that's why this month I'm talking all about creating trust in ourselves. Because when we can tap into our self trust, we can move through these challenges with much more confidence and ease. But I admit, when it comes to speaking to my audience about everything from business growth to staying agile during COVID 19 to how to show up authentically in the conversation about racism in America, It's hard to feel confident. It's hard to trust yourself. It's hard to believe that you know what to say or what your next step should be. And so that's why I'm spending a month on this topic because when we learn to trust ourselves, and yes, it's a learning process, getting through the low times is more easeful. So this week, I spent a lot of time thinking about what to say to you in this podcast. And I asked myself many times, do I trust myself to, to write this episode? Should I, should I hit record on this? Have you ever spent hours looking endlessly at a white page cursor just blinking at you? That was me this weekend thinking about what I wanted to talk about today. And I basically did the digital version of crumpling up the yellow legal pad paper and throwing it towards the garbage pail only to try and try and try again and again, unsure where to go unsure what to do for hours. And if you've been struggling with this feeling in your life or your business or both, I want you to know that everyone is struggling with this and that there are no right answers. And that's that I'm dealing with this too. And it's making me question my own self-trust. And here's some of the stuff that's going on in my life right now. Here, basically, this is the tip of the iceberg of three things I can share. Last week, I was exposed to somebody who tested positive for COVID. So we got tested as a family, and we are still in purgatory waiting for the results. And even though our county doesn't require self-quarantining while waiting, we decided to do that as a family because it just felt irresponsible to walk around potentially contaminating others. So we've been really homebound while the rest of the world is kind of starting to wake up. And the thing that gets in my head is, even if I had a result to report, what what does it mean, right? Like if I'm positive, but asymptomatic, should I ever go back into the world? And if I'm negative, how long until I do become infected? These are the kinds of thoughts that make us doubt ourselves. You know, how the big question is, how do I trust that I'll know how to move forward? What's the right thing to do? Then same week, someone very important to me was blindsided by her husband's request for a divorce on Mother's Day. And he delivered that message via his children to her. And where my brain goes is, how do you process that? And then she went on to find some evidence that there was deceit. And so she's feeling shock and sadness. And that's like merely the tip of the iceberg, right? Should she kick him out? Do they fix this? Will therapy help? How does she trust that she knows how to move forward when her core has been shaken? What's the right thing to do? And of course, racism, all of it right here for us to see out in the open. Injustice, unfairness, confusion. And as a white woman of privilege, what should I be doing? How can I take my feelings of guilt and shame and horror and confusion and be helpful with them? And, you know, in my own town, in my own city, rioting and looting have occurred, and we now have an 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. curfew in place. And it's, you know, so many questions about, is this justified? What's right? And then that brings us to the question of how will we all trust that we know how to move forward? What's the right thing to do? And so in these three little scenarios, you can see that there are 
no answers. We're, I'm asking myself for answers. I'm asking myself good questions, but what are the answers? I have no idea. I mean, I have inklings. I have moments of knowing what my next right steps should be and hard conversations I need to have, but mostly I don't know. And I especially don't know what's right for you and I'm not here to tell you what's right for you. What I am here to, to share with you and to get you thinking about is developing your self-trust because frankly, that's all I've got going for me right now, my self-trust. It does not mean I know all the answers for myself or for anybody else. What it means is I know there's not one right answer and I've got to figure out what's right for me because there's a different right answer for each of us. Self-trust requires us to let go of perfectionism and people pleasing and hiding. Self-trust means that I might screw up and I probably will. And then self-trust means I know I'll learn from that, have to apologize, maybe start over, revamp my plan. It means that whatever I'm about to jump into is hard and confusing, but I trust that it's the right thing for me and I can handle whatever's on the other side of it, even if it's hard or uncomfortable or imperfect or I need to do it again. People, especially my clients, are asking questions like, what if I make a mistake? What if I say the wrong thing? What's the right choice? And the answer is, I don't know because I don't have a crystal ball. All I have is my inner guidance a hell of a lot of resources and many, many, many ways to educate myself. And so if you're asking these questions, you know there's a step you must take in life or business and self-trust is the foundational tool to help you do it. It means saying to yourself, it's okay that I don't have all the answers. It's okay that I am not perfect. It's a process and I can handle whatever is on the other side of this issue. Don't be fooled by how this looks on the outside of anybody else's life because we're all on a journey of How do I trust that I know what the right thing to do is? Every single person is asking themselves that question. Self-trust is scary. Please stop bullshitting yourself that it will ever stop being scary. You'll just learn how to move through it more easily. And stop convincing yourself that you need to wait to take action until you know all the potential outcomes because you never will. Begin your journey of self-trust. Lead yourself. Give yourself permission to do the things you've been itching to do. People who resonate with your words and actions will come along for the ride. Please acknowledge that you're not for everybody and you're not supposed to be. And there is great freedom in this. It's not easy to get there. But if you're ready to have someone next to you on your journey to help you navigate your business growth, this summer I have one spot open for private coaching because to help you get where you want to go, it requires courage, strategy, and implementation. And you might need somebody standing next to you, holding your hand, giving you feedback, helping you create your self-trust during this time. So if you're thinking that it's really time to hire somebody to help you, I wanted to invite you to apply for a coaching consultation. Um, You can just go to jenliddy.com forward slash strategy, and there's an application there for you to fill out. We'll just figure out if we're a good fit to have a conversation about working together. And frankly, we all need support of some type because developing this self-trust and moving forward is difficult and scary. And I know that you have big dreams. I have big dreams. And I know that it's because of the self-trust that I've developed and the resources and support that I've had that I am even here talking to you today. So this week, commit to growing your self-trust muscle. Next week, I'll be back with an interview with a powerful leader in my community who's committed to helping women stop the brutalizing self-doubt and begin to take authentic action. So the idea of self-trust will continue next week. I look forward to, to seeing you then and thanks for tuning in. Have a great week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app and tell that friend of yours who needs some help getting where she wants to go. I'd be so appreciative if you left a review because then we can help more women create the space for their ideas too. Go to jenliddy.com forward slash free to grab the many free resources there to help you move forward. And I will see you next time. Bye.